kit it up. I've got my foot ascender on my right foot. The notch, um, the notch foot ascender can go on either foot, so that's kind of cool. Get that on the inside of whichever foot you want. Get it as tight as you can. Then my Sokka. I have this nifty set of cobalt suspenders from Lowe's. It really helps me with my, um, you know, holding that saw all day, especially the bigger saws. But anyways, I clip my Sokka behind my back when I'm in the tree. And then when I need it, I'm able to just pull it right down and it stays clipped there. And I go into my foot loop and I'm done. I'm going to demonstrate SRT with, uh, without the Sokka, without the knee ascender first. Suspenders are all twisted up. Oh, well. So what you want, you want your helmet, harness, lanyard. If you're actually doing tree work, you, you want to have a lanyard with you, a positioning lanyard. You don't need it if you're just learning SRT. Practice low and slow. You don't need a lanyard. And then, obviously, a device. I'm going to use the Akimbo. Foot ascender, sturdy footwear, gloves are wonderful. They really help. And a chest harness of some kind. So we're going to start by balance testing our tie-in point, making sure that I'm on a base tie in this case. So we want to make sure that my base tie is good. That's a nice secure knot. It's not going to come undone on me. And now we're going to do SRT. Now, you can't really tell in this video, but this tree has lean away from me, all right? This tree has a lot of lean going away from me. I shouldn't say a lot of lean, but you know, reasonable, reasonable lean away from me. Um, SRT is always easier, just like with spikes, it's easier if you're climbing on the opposite, on the um, positive side of the lean. So, so I'm on the positive side of the lean. I'm gonna go ahead and put my foot ascender in like that. There's no lock on that one, so it's super, super easy. I'm gonna clip my chest bungee, which I have built into my trusty cobalt suspenders. And then this is the basic SRT with just a foot ascender, no knee ascender. I go up the rope with my foot. I stand, the chest bungee pulls my device up with me. Okay, now remember, before I get super far, I wanna test this akimbo. Okay, want to test my device, what, whatever you're using, whether you're using a friction hitch with a rope wrench or a rope runner, it doesn't matter. The only thing you don't really need to test is the unisender, but um, you want to make sure that it tracks down and stops when you want it to stop. You also want to make sure that it goes up the rope easily. So before you go all the way to the top, just come back down a little bit, make sure that you've got your akimbo or other device um, at the right setting. If you're using a friction hitch with a rope wrench, then you might want to take a wrap out or add a wrap or add a braid, you know, whatever. All right, so now using the tree as a support, that way I'm not just swinging out of control. It's nice to have my toes up against the trunk and just sit and stand. So now sitting, now I stand and I sit and every time I sit, my, my akimbo is what's holding my weight, allowing me to move my foot ascender up the rope a little bit and stand again. Now, as opposed to the sit and stand method, you can do what's called peg legging. Once you get really good at SRT doing this sit and stand, going nice and slow, remember, low and slow, so you don't hurt yourself, all right? That's how you should always practice. Once you get used to that though, you can actually hold your weight temporarily. It's very hard to do it with, on SRT, but you can hold all your weight with your arms and just kind of yoke your foot up and just keep going, keep going. You don't have to sit at all. This is much harder to do, but I'll try to demonstrate it. Okay. Once you're in the branches, it gets even easier.
She's trying to go up the tree. Look, she's trying to go up the tree to you. <laughs> All right. This still still is pretty physically exhausting, but that's peg legging. I'm going to give another really important tip to consider. The theme of extension. You need to understand what that is and why a lot of extension will hurt you if you're trying to do SRT. So a couple of things I didn't mention earlier. My rope bridge has this wild country rope man on it. And what that does is it allows me to adjust the length of my bridge. I'm gonna open my bridge up all the way right now. It is pretty hard to open up because the it's got two ropes in it instead of one, but all right, we're gonna open up my bridge all the way. Now this is the way the harness normally would function. And again, this is great. A long bridge is fantastic for an MRS system, but for ascending SRT, this bridge is gonna really hurt me. Also, I'm gonna open up my um, my chest harness extension to the to the farthest setting. I sew these little pockets in here so that I have different settings. So I've got a longer chest extension and I've got a longer bridge extension and I'm gonna demonstrate what that does to my climbing experience. So with just a foot ascender and no knee ascender, I'm gonna to try to go up and look, it's not pulling up the rope hardly at all. My bridge still has slack in it. So when I come to sit down, I'm sitting down all the way down to here. It feels like I gained no progress. So let's go up again. Let's try to go up further. And it only went up that far. And now when I sit down, I'm only like one or two feet off the ground. And in the meantime, it's really hard to balance because I'm like moving my foot all the way up to here to get as much as I possibly can. And I'm gonna come up this rope and... Okay, I got a little bit further that time, but I'm still not making a lot of progress, okay? So let's go back to minimal extension and see the difference. First, we're gonna take our chest bungee. And I've realized that when I'm training new climbers, that this is like a really important concept that they, uh, they don't understand because the word extension is kind of vague. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna move our carabiner up this setting here. Now we've got a much, much tighter chest setting and we're gonna change our bridge back to a tight setting with that uh, rope man. A CT rolling lock will do the same thing here. There's other ways to, to play with it. All right, now watch what happens. Tons of space and it catches me right away. Okay. I'm making much more with each step, much more progress. Another thing, if you're on the positive side of the lean, uh, your rope is gonna wanna swing you to either side of the tree, all right? You can SRT, through free space. You can SRT through free space. And the way that you would want to do that is you want to put your feet together if you don't have a rope walker system. Just put one foot on top of the other and do your sit stand. I still like to face the tree. I like to face the tree so that my toes can, can touch the trunk on occasion and keep me from spinning. Because when you're spinning, it, it is a little bit harder. But anyways, this is in free space, okay? And yeah, you can do that, but practice on that positive side. Practice, even though it feels like it's gonna take you off balance, stay on that positive side, and eventually you'll get balanced enough that you can really use the trunk to help you. And that really can speed up your SRT, especially when you start jugging, because some of your weight 
is on the trunk with your feet. And when you're doing this peg legging method, this jugging method, then you've got like just a lot. I mean, look at, that's a lot faster. I can do that on this side of the trunk and conserve energy as opposed to peg legging up through free space. So I hope that makes sense. Um, that's an extra tip talking about extension and balance. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate that. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate that uh, Neosa rope walking method. So same setup except now we've got a knee ascender as well and a foot loop oh, all right so we're on the rope i like to go up just maybe i don't know a foot length i like to go up like a little bit before i hook in my knee ascender and see look i forgot to hook in my chest darn it or my uh I forgot to check. I forgot to hook up my chest bungee, so you don't have to sit back down. You can just reach down and pull up on it. If you don't have a chest bungee, like say that you're a ground guy and you're rescuing your climber who just got hurt and he needs you to get to him, take a lanyard, throw it over your shoulder, and clip it and go. Okay, it's not nearly as comfortable but it will work. Or you can reach down and pull it up with your hand as you go. Anyway, get up a little ways and then hook in our knee ascender. And now it's the same thing, except it's even easier. I'm just gonna kinda, you know, brace myself on the trunk so I'm not swinging and spinning out of control. And I'm just going to go up that rope. Oh, I will. Let me mention this too. Where I'm clipping my akimbo, that's my decision to clip it there based on the way I like it to pull up. The manual does not recommend this. Okay, Rock Exotica does not recommend this. The only reason I do it is because their, their tie-in point up here broke off. The stupid little wire gate thing broke. And they made it cheap that way because they didn't want people like hanging themselves with it, I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Do it at your own risk. But anyways, that's it. You know, I just go up one foot at a time and the bungee keeps on tracking up with me as I go. As I get to these branches, I can kind of use them as support as well. This is much more energy efficient. Hey, that was a lot smoother. One thing to be aware of if you're learning SRT, figure out, before you get to the top, figure out how to get your foot ascender on and off the rope, as well as your knee ascender if you're using one. Because to release them, when they're activated and they're holding your weight, they'll be locked on that rope. The teeth will literally be like totally locked on that rope. You won't be able to clear it. I see I can't pull this down because it's locked on the rope. So before I can pull it down, I have to push it up, clear those teeth, then I can pull it out. Okay, and the Sokka has a lock on it as well. The uh, notch foot ascender is a lot easier to get out of because it doesn't have those aggressive teeth. But if you're using a standard foot ascender like the CT, I've seen guys get stuck at the very top. They get stuck because they don't have the space to move their leg up farther. They gotta move their leg up farther, the rope to clear those teeth to get it out, but they've already like gone all the way to the top. And so they're just like, eh, like that. That concludes this video. Those are the basics of SRT. I think I covered everything that you need to know going into it. Let me know in the comments section Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks guys.